Leah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a college haul for you guys because I start my brand new college next week. I'm going to be doing a media course which is exciting. I think it's going to be about three days a week so hopefully I'm going to have more time to film videos but I'm not sure how much work I'm going to have to do. But obviously I needed to buy some new things for college so today I'm going to be showing you everything that I did buy and I really hope you guys do enjoy the video. So the first place I went to is Primark and I actually picked up something that wasn't intentionally bought for college. I actually got this for my NCS graduation but I definitely think I'll be able to incorporate it into my college wardrobe. So this is a really really cute little strappy dress. Um, it's this checkered grey and like a dark blue print and it's got this dark blue strip down the side. So this is pretty much like a, a tight dress but it's not completely. This was £10 and it's a pretty thick material. I think it's really really good quality. This kind of dress normally looks really cute if you put a just a plain white t-shirt underneath it so I thought I might try that out I'm not sure I haven't tried it yet but if I paired this with a white t-shirt and maybe even tights and boots in the winter I thought they could look really cute or just with a t-shirt I'm not sure but I did pick that up from Primark for NCS graduation but I thought I could wear it for college with a t-shirt also from Primark for £1.50 I believe I bought this set of scrunchies so it comes with a black one a mustard one and this one that I've got in now this is the one that I mainly got it for so it's a really really cute little like leopard print one and I think for £1.50 for three scrunchies it's really good because I have my hair up probably at least once a week so I just wanted to spice it up a little bit and £1.50 for three is really really good so I picked those up as for makeup to start college, I picked up a couple of essentials. Um, I topped up on my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I absolutely love this concealer. This is my fourth one since it came out. But I picked up a new one of these in the shade C6, which is perfect for me. And then me and my sister went to the Birmingham Boring Shopping and we went into the NYX store. I only picked up one thing and I've tried it once, but I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about it. So I decided to get the NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade, which looks like this. It was around about five pounds, I believe. It just looks like this. I got it in the lightest shade. Yeah, it's just the shade Blonde. And it's just an eyebrow pomade. I thought um, I could do with one since I never do my eyebrows. I thought I'd try one of these out. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the biggest bag in Birmingham again I went to Oasis I don't even think I've ever been in Oasis before but they had a really cute top in the window so I went in I didn't end up buying it but I did find my school bag in here so this is the bag that I went for it's pretty much just a plain like leather handbag um just looks like that this cost me 30 pounds um but it feels really good quality it's really comfortable because the bottom isn't too thick so it like fits under your shoulder really comfortably it is like a light pink on the inside and you can turn this inside out so it's a reversible bag which i think is such a good feature so i can match this up with my outfits pink and gray are the colors that i wanted to go for for a school bag anyway so i really like that you can turn this round and it also comes with this little pink leather bag in the middle and there is actually a longer strap which you can attach to this so you could literally use this on its own but yeah this is going to go in the middle of my bag with like smaller things like i said this was 30 pounds but i think it's going to be the perfect school bag i just think it's a really good size so i bought that from oasis which was a bit of a lucky find i feel like because i would never have normally gone into oasis next up is a purchase i made around a about a month or two ago so it wasn't directly for college but I was definitely going to get some for college anyway um, so these are just some plain black and white vans I have honestly wanted some of these for the longest time I think to be honest they're really overpriced for how simple they are these were about £60 um, but these are just such an essential they literally go with every single outfit so i thought these are going to be the perfect shoes to buy for college and i have wanted some for a really long time so i got just some plain black and white vans so i'm now going to go through a couple bits of stationery and stuff like that that i've picked up so this is the pencil case that i decided to pick up this is actually from h&m and it's just a clear pencil case and it has little um pink sparkly flamingos on it i think this is a really good size and i like that it's clear because i can see where my things are i think this was like four pounds feels pretty good quality from wh smith i just bought this little pencil sharpener it's pretty basic but i always go for one love that 
I always go for one that has like the little bin attached because I just think it's much easier and I'm lazy and who wants to go to the bin in front of the whole class. Then also from WH Smith I had a £10 voucher so I was told that I need a diary for college um, so I picked up this really fancy one. I think this is so nice. It was £10, but pretty much all of the diaries were £10 and they were really basic. So I thought I'd get one that was a little bit nicer. This actually says on it really small, dream big and reach for the stars. It's got this lovely like swirly marble print with gold glitter on it. And it also comes with a little pencil. I don't know if you can see that, but it just says pencil it in. This is perfect as well because it goes from July 2018 to August 2019. So it's kind of, I guess, like an academic diary. And then finally from WH Smith, I was told I would need some folders. So I picked up this pack of two zip wallets. So yeah, they're just pretty much clear and they've got little white polka dots on them. I'm probably going to have like assignments and sheets and letters and things like that. So... I just thought I'd get two cute little folders. Today I went into Topshop and I made a little visit. I did again have a £10 voucher, so I managed to save a little bit of money. I have some Joni jeans in like a navy blue colour and they're honestly like my favourite jeans. I've always been really, really reluctant to buy Topshop jeans because they are pretty expensive. I used to always wear Primark jeans and I thought they were great. Um, but since I bought some Topshop jeans, there honestly is a huge difference and they're so much better quality. So I thought I would treat myself to a different colour of Joni jeans. But I just went for some plain black Topshop Joni jeans. My favourite thing about these jeans and one of the reasons why I would consider spending the money because they're £36 is like they're so stretchy and comfortable that is just why I love them and my other ones haven't washed out at all so I'm really hoping the black in these doesn't wash out because in the Primark ones it does um, but yeah in the end I ended up paying about £25 for these which I'm just praying they don't wash out but I love these jeans so hopefully they'll be worth it. Next up is definitely the biggest purchase I've made in quite a while. So when we were in the Birmingham Boring, we went into Zara and I saw this jacket or coat that I absolutely loved and for the last week or two I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. So in Leicester, there's a brand new Zara. It's absolutely massive. It's so good. If you come to Leicester, definitely visit Zara in the High Cross because it's amazing. But luckily, they had what I wanted. This is like the cutest, most amazing jacket. I have honestly been obsessed with the sort of teddy bear jackets for well over a year now. So when I saw this one, I just fell in love with it. It's this amazing pink shade and it's got really big sleeves, really big collar. It's so soft. If I put it on for you, this is what it looks like. I just think it's so perfect. I absolutely love it. They do have this jacket in like the traditional beige sort of colour. And I was going to get that one because it would go with more things. But I just like, I absolutely love this colour. So I thought I'd treat myself and buy it. It was £70. So I think it was quite a big commitment for me. But it is honestly the softest one I have felt. There's one in Topshop, very similar. Um, not as soft. Also in New Look, not as soft. But... Yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. And you're going to see me wearing this all winter because this is going to be my winter coat because it's so thick and warm. So that is actually everything I have bought for back to college. But I thought I'd quickly show you the outfits that I bought for summer in the city as well because I didn't end up showing you them. So for my Saturday outfit, I got this denim skirt which I definitely think I'll be able to wear for college. So this is a black and white checkerboard denim mini skirt. I absolutely love this. It was from the brand Mung Monkey or Monkey, M-O-N-K-I. It was £25 and I just absolutely love it. I think it's so cool. And I paired it with this red ribbed bodysuit. This was from Nasty Girl and it looks really see-through but when it's on it's fine because I wore absolutely no bra with this and it was fine. I really like the way this sits. It's like straight here and the straps come up and they actually cross over at the back so it makes it a little bit more interesting. I have had an issue with this that... I don't have a particularly long body, but this is way too short for my body. Like, I can't have it up here and do it up at the bottom. If you saw me at Summer in the City, I had this on underneath, but I hadn't done it up. So it was just, like, undone under my skirt, but, I mean, it worked anyway. I It's a shame that I won't be able to wear it with jeans or anything like that because I can't do it up. But this was my first outfit. I just love this skirt so much. And my outfit for Sunday. This is the cutest little red 
checker or gingham dress from Nasty Gal again. It's literally like a thin cloth material, it's very thin. Um, and what you do is it's got two bits here at the back and you tie them into two knots. It's gonna be hard to show you. Um, but this is a really, really cute dress. Again, it's got that straight shape at the top with just the simple straps, which I really like at the moment. I think it was about 20 pounds. But again, it was a really, really cute little summer dress. So guys, that is everything I've recently purchased and the majority of it is for college. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on the post notifications and leave me a comment down below telling me what you're going to be doing this year with education or are you finished? What options are you doing for GCSEs, A-levels? Are you starting a new year? What are you guys doing this year? Let me know in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye!